Hello, everyone. Are you a parent of a young child who wants to build that great relationship with your child? Because you understand that early childhood is very, very crucial in any child's life, right? So you do want to have that great relationship with your child. Having said that, you have a busy schedule and you do not know how to connect with your child, how to build that kind of bond with your child. Well, I'm Supriya Raja and I am the founder of the Empowered Parenting Hub. In this video, I'll give you three main steps that you can adopt, which is simple but very powerful, to help build that bond with your child so that your child will blossom into an emotionally healthy individual and you can also build a great bond with your child in spite of your busy schedule. So, without much ado, let's get on. Like I said, building a relationship with a child not just impacts you as a parent, but also helps you and your child understand each other and also your child blossoming into a more emotionally healthy individual, which will later help your child to forge healthy relationships in his or her adult life with his or her partner and also his or her children. So the first thing that you must be doing if you really want to build that kind of relationship is to make a connection with your child. Now, how do you connect? Simple, spend more time with your child, even if it's for 10 minutes, okay? Set a time and block your calendar, like how we block, you know, like we have to-do list, right? That we say we, we will do this work, we will do that work. The same way, even block this in your schedule every day, even if it's for just 10 minutes. Because when you block it, you will actually go ahead and spend time with your child. Now, when I'm saying spending time with your child, it's not just sitting near your child and watching TV passively or this video passively, but rather engaging with your child, playing with your child, talking to your child, going out for a walk with your child, gardening, could be any activity where there's an engagement, which is not passive, right? The advantage here is you will understand your child better, your child knows know understand you better the possibility of understanding each other building that bond building that trust is much more when there is engagement rather than it's a very passive activity right so ensure that you're engaging in activities which are mutually beneficial which is where there is an interaction where there's a talk i would also go ahead and say if you want to also engage in some activity choose the activity that the child likes not what you like because you can in that case avoid some kind of a battle when the child says, let's do this, and you will say, no, no, let's do something else. No, instead of that, just go ahead with what your child likes so that your child also feels heard, your child feels understood. Number two, after connecting, is actually making an observation during your connection, which is very, very important. So observation of how your child is connecting, observation of how you are connecting, observation of your thought process, Right. So making observations are very important because when you make an observation, you will be able to make out if there is some kind of difficulty your child is facing, whether it's in spoken language, whether it's in some kind of, you know, whether there is an inherent fine motor problem, whatever. You know, if, you, if there's some problem, it will start coming to the light because you're making observation. Right. So in that case, if something needs to be addressed, you will be able to take early action or proactive action. To address the situation so make an observation of how the child is doing the engagement how you are how was your thought process what words you choose so that you can be very careful in how you're interacting the words you choose the, the way you're interacting the enthusiasm you show the enthusiasm the child shows you'll be able to make an analysis of that right so observation is very important not just of your child but of yourself also and the third most important is making a reflection yes in fact, have a reflection book itself where you write down that particular day's interaction, like what we did today, what went well, what happened, how was the child's response to what you said, how was your response, what went well in the interaction, what did not go well, whether the child was excited about the interaction, whether the child was getting bored, if the child was getting bored, what I could have done better. If I was losing my patience, what I could have done better. So when you write reflection, you will be able to, things will come up very obviously as to how you are in your, you know, with respect to connecting with your child, 
if loss are coming to life, your child's personality, your child's mood for that day, your mood for that day, your personality as well. You'll be able to observe yourself, right? When you're observing and writing reflection, you can see yourself from a very objective point of view. Instead of getting all consumed by emotions and getting all consumed by, uh, you know, what happened and just reacting to it, this is a better way. And then very objective way of making the interaction very fruitful. When you do in this step of connecting, observation and reflecting, let me tell you, your connection will be very, very fruitful. Your connection will be much more, um, in, you know, deeper and you will be able to understand your child better. Your child will trust you more. The relationship will gradually improve. Additionally, if you're someone who would also, like I said, you would want to make use of this early childhood years and want to instill good habits, good skills into your child, such as a reading skill and reading habit, but you do not know how to go ahead with this procedure, well, I'm hosting a masterclass this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. Indian Standard Time, where I'll be giving you three secrets as to how you can draw your child, attract your child towards reading and books without forcing, without any kind of shouting or any kind of you know aggressiveness from your side. So if you would like to join me for the free masterclass, the link would be given in the description box. You can click and join for the masterclass and I'll see you live there. So yes, until my next video, happy reading and happy parenting. Bye-bye.